In this lesson, we'll continue our review of problem solving and data analysis concepts from the official PSAT practice test, section four, calculator permitted, questions 14 through 16. All three of these questions relate to this information. A survey of 170 randomly selected teenagers aged 14 through 17 in the United States was conducted to gather data on sum summer employment of teenagers. The data are shown in the table below. So let's take a look at the first question relating to this table. Which of the following is the closest to the percent of those surveyed who had a summer job? All right, so those surveyed who had a job. So it's not distinguishing between the different ages, it's the total in the survey. We know there's 170, it's this number here. We want the percent who had a job. And so we've got two columns, have a summer job, did not have, and so the ones who had a job would be this. So again, this is calculator permitted, and so it's just gonna be 59 divided by 170. And that is 34.7%, and the closest one to that is B. All right, the next question relating to this table is number 15. In 2012, the total population of individuals in the United States who were between 14 and 17 years old inclusive was about 17 million. If the survey results are used to estimate information about some employment of teenagers across the country, which of the following is the best estimate of the total number of individuals between 16 and 17 years, years old in the United States who had a summer job in 2012? So this is a common question where we are given the total number of the whole population 17 million, these are all of the 14 to 17 year olds. This is the whole population, there are 17 million. And the survey, remember the survey is just part of the whole population. The results are used to estimate information about summer employment of teenagers, and we want the best estimate of the total numbers of 16 and 17 year olds who had a job in 2012. So I know it's kind of tough because I'm gonna go back up and look at the graph, but remember 14 to 17, this is the total population of all of the people. The survey is just a small sample. We wanna take the sample results of 16 and 17 year olds who had a job to now predict the total number of that of based on the 17 million. So let's find 16 to 17 year olds who had a job. All right, let's find that, 16 to 17, who had a job. So here are 16 to 17, here's had a job. We know that is 39 out of the total is 170. 39 out of 170. So we can now find what's the ratio, 39 out of 170. And that is, looks like 22.9%. So call it 0.229, I think it was four as well. So this is the ratio based on the sample. We wanna what's called extrapolate that to figure out the total number of, of those actual students who had a job based on the total of all of the students or teenagers in the United States. And so what we're doing is extrapolating based on this. And so we, we still have the um, this percentage, and now we're gonna multiply that by 17 million, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that comes out to, let's see, that's 3.9 million. So let's take a look at the answers. Yes. The answer is B. All right, so hopefully that made sense. You know, we were using the ratio of the sample to now extrapolate that and find what the actual number is based on the total number of all individuals, all teenagers between 14 and 17. And one last point about this question, there's actually a shortcut. You always wanna look for these, especially in the math, because a lot of students have, I think, trouble, trouble with the time constraint. So just to review, remember, we were told that the total number of both of these age groups, the, the total of all was 17 million. And we wanna project the sample to figure out how many were in this category, 16 to 17, who had a job. If you notice, the total in the sample is a factor of that. And so what I mean by that is we could just take 
the 17 million. That's the true number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Divide by the number in the sample, which is 170, and then we get a factor of 100,000. All right. So the shortcut here is if you can see it's a factor of 100,000 from the true population, is you take this number and you multiply that by that factor, which is 100,000, and you get the 3.9 million. Again, you may not see that. You could just do it the longer way, but either way, we're extrapolating the data. All right, we've got one more question, and it's number 16. Based on the data, how many times more likely is it for a 14 year old or a 15 year old not to have a summer job than it is for a 16 year old or 17 year old not to have a summer job around the answer to the nearest hundredth. So we want to see how many more times likely it is for a 14 or 15 year old not to have a summer job. So let's figure out that ratio a 14 or a 15 year old. Use a different color here. So here 14 or 15 year old the total is 89. Not to have a summer job would be this. So this is the ratio 14 to 15 not to have a job it's going to be 69 over 89. And we could just use our calculator again. And that's going to be 69 divided by 89. That comes out to about 77.5%. We want to see how many more times likely it is for this category, 14 or 50 years, not to have a summer job than 16 or 17 year olds. That's here, not to have a job. So the total those students is 81. The ones who didn't have a job was 42. So that's going to be 42 over 81. You can see that's pretty close to half and we'll just do it. So that's going to be 42 divided by 81. And it's about 51.8. All right. So how many more times likely it is? What is this factor? And again, you could probably look at this and see this is really about 1.5 times the factor. And we could just find it. We could just take 0.775 divided by 0.518. And you see the factor is about 1.5. It's just almost exactly. It's 1.496. And so the answer here is C.